Crips have been running the majority of their drug dealings between these two streets here and here. Yeah, I see them when I go home at night. It's like a supermarket down there. There's two drug dealers on every corner. The dealers work the curbs. The buyers circle around back, take delivery from another person. I thought the black and whites have been running sweeps twice a week. They're ineffective. The dealers scatter, cut through backyards, jump fences. There's low of light industry in that area, so the cars can't follow. So you're saying we use the black and whites to chase them into the equipment yards? That's the plan. We'll use these finger cams mounted to the bikes or the helmets for evidence gathering. I love it. The dealers will run and we'll own them, baby. Yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, now let's just remember what we're dealing with out there. These are hardcore gangbangers taking in a lot of cash. They've never seen a crash unit on bikes before, so we don't know how they're going to react. Captain Brooks is right. Everyone wears a vest. I want you to watch yourselves, watch your partners, and watch the black and whites. All right? Let's go get them. Ah, yeah, I'm the king with the ring, feeling fall the spring. Now hold an encore, Rashid. Can't hear my customers placing their orders, man. And I got a home with no loan, so don't take that tone. I make the bread with my head, Fred. Ah, <laughs> cause I'm wheeling and peeling, kid.
You okay, Princess? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine, Dad. You sure? Yeah, yeah, I'm just a little shaken, but I'll be all right, I promise. Yeah, Brooks Beep told me what happened. I just want to hear it from you. You are all right. Yeah, I appreciate you calling, Dad. What about the suspect? They took him to the hospital. You gonna make it? Yeah, yeah, I, I think he'll be fine. Hey, uh, they found the gun, didn't they, Corey? No. Not yet. I better pick up some film. I'm just about the end of the roll. Oh, hey, sorry. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, uh, roll of 36, 100, please. My wallet. All right, I need a couple volunteers for Brat Patrol duty. Brat Patrol duty? Yeah, it means we have a film company working on the beach. They bring a lot of money into the community, so we're encouraged by City Hall to provide liaison assistance. It's babysitting the star. Who's it this time? Scott Magruder. He's the worst. I can't stand his movies. I'd be willing to volunteer. Oh, really? What, are you a Scott Magruder fan? No, I've just never seen a movie be made before. Yeah, right. Talk to it, Kelly. You think he's a screen star like the rest of female America? I've seen a couple of his films, that's all. Fine. He's all yours. What? Both of yours. And try and keep him out of jail. Are you born obnoxious or something you developed over the years? Hey, Scott Magruder's a full-fledged, high-signing poser. He tore up a hotel room in New York City, and he got in a fist fight in Central Park with his caterer. That was his fiance's fault, Vivica something. She said actors on that TV show. Oh, I thought you weren't a fan. It was in the National Inquisitor, which is on the shelf at the checkout counter, okay? He just happened to be on the cover. Oh, getting busted. And there was a long line at the checkout, so you decided to read the article. Get a life, Del Toro. Come on. Maybe it'll make you a movie star. Then you can be on the cover of the Inquisitor. I saw a gun, Lieutenant. I have no doubt that you did. But the search team spent most of the night going over the area, and all they could come up with is a knife. There's nothing on the surveillance video that backs up your claim. It wasn't a knife. It was a gun. I know what you think you saw. Look, look, I'll, I'll go there myself. I want to check it out in the light anyway. Fine. Take TC with you. I just want you to know that this whole matter may have to be reviewed. A shooting review board hearing? Oh, come on. What are you getting so defensive for? I'm not. Corey, no one's going to let you hang out to dry on this. <sighs> well, what about the suspect? Rashid Ross, 25. Two stretches of fulsome assault and armed robbery. Armed robbery, huh? Any chance this guy used to own a gun? Excuse me. We are seeking Elvis Krzyzewski. I gotta go. And who shall I say is seeking? Just tell him we are friends from old country. Here, catching race in Santa Monica. Oh, I'll tell you what. I don't think he's here. Please, it's most important that we speak to him. We understand he services bicycles here, and and that's his shop, maybe. Elvis, Elvis, Jesse. Whoa, whoa, Elvis. guys. Hey, guys, guys. Hold Elvis. Guys, excuse me. Elvis. Excuse me, guys. Like I said, he's not here. But I'll be happy to give him a message for you if you like. A message. Ну себе этот message в одно место. Ну что я говорил, его нету. Пошли отсюда.
Why are you dressed like that? I'm Officer Kelly. This is Officer Del Toro, and we've been assigned as liaison officers while you're filming here on the beach. You're a cop? Yes. Real cop with a uh, gun, real bolts and everything? <laughs> right here. You know, I'm always concerned when I'm on location out in public. Maybe we should discuss some sort of security arrangements. So come on in, come inside. Uh, you know what? It's very small in here. I'd really appreciate it if you could guard the perimeter while I talk to your partner, Officer Del Taco. Hey, it's Del Toro. Whatever. Actually, we both need to check out the set, make sure all crowd control measures are in place. Okay. All right. I, uh, I see my reputation has preceded me. You two, run along. I've got to get ready for a scene. Catch up with you later, baby. Bye-bye. I don't want to hear I told you so. I'm saying it worked. Palermo says this guy, Rashid, is a two-time loser. That's got to work in your favor. My favor? That's probably why this guy's willing to take a shot at me. What are you talking about? Well, I'm talking about the three strikes law. This guy goes down for a third time. He goes away for life. I see your point. You know, the law doesn't help us a bit if a guy's willing to shoot at a cop rather than take a third fall. I, I saw him disappear around this side of the tractor. And that's where he drew his gun on me. But he was over here when the shooting went down. No, no, no. He drew on me here, and, and then he fell back this way. Damn it, what did he do with that thing? We'll check the woods, the storm drains. We'll turn this place upside down. We've already done that twice. We will find the gun, Corey. Damn it! Relax, all right? The shooting review board almost always sides with the officer in a gang-related shooting. It means a little bit more to me than that. Meaning? Meaning it's personal. All right, the bad guy is running underneath the pier this way. You come across the pier, climb to the top, spot him, and then act as if you're going to jump. Then Max will come in here and take a fall for you. Don't bother. I'll do it myself. The stunt? Yes, Gary, the stunt. We're set up for it. Let's just shoot it. You sure you want to do that? Do you have a hearing problem? I'm doing the stunt myself. Babe, I don't think the studio. Look, is the studio here? Maybe the VP of production would like to do the stunt. Is he here? OK. I swear, you, you want to cough at a scene? They think you need a stunt. I'm sure they just don't want you to get hurt, that's all. Yeah, that'd be a big shame. Well, we don't risk life and limb like real officers on the street, but there are certain chances I'm willing to take to make the whole thing seem a little more real. Like the real comic book this movie's based on? No, like the real five million they're paying me to play Amphibaman. That's wonderful. We're ready to shoot. You know, he's only really doing this stunt to impress you, right? Get out of here. so impressed. How about you? You want to sue this department for excessive force? And you're demanding that we suspend Officer McNamara? Lawsuit is for 10 million. I just got back from the city attorney's office. That's absurd. You're just looking for a fat settlement from the city. You know, my client, Rashid Ross, very talented rap musician. He was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. That's all. Your client? is a convicted armed robber. As a juvenile. Prosecutor, special circumstances. Spent five years in prison. And then returned to the neighborhood, rehabilitated by the state of California. He was selling cocaine on Bellwood Avenue. He was performing for friends. But he became a victim of, of excessive force by an officer with three years experience. Someone in your department. Corey McNamara is a model officer with a spotless record. Not anymore. I suggest you pull her from the street pending an investigation. And I'm suggesting you pull your ass out of here before I throw it out that window. Tony, Tony, do I note an atmosphere of violence? 
It seems to pervade the entire police department. Get out of my face. Oh, well, I think you and I are going to see a whole lot more of each other. You should have said that to him. Sorry. Couldn't resist. Well, let's just hope for your officer's sake we turn up that gun. Hi, Daddy. Hey. I know what you're going to say, so let's just get this over with, okay? Is that any way to greet a concerned father who just wants to buy his daughter lunch? The turkey burgers are good here. Hey, uh, I saw the preliminary report. Here we go. It's not very encouraging. No shots fired by the suspect, no weapon located. Now, you realize Jim Thompson sits on the shooting review board. Don't even think about it. You know how important it is that your first shoot be absolutely clean. If it's a clean shoot, it will hold up. Just let me have a word with him, off the record. I can't believe you're even considering this. All I've ever heard from you growing up is the importance of doing things by the book. And now you're telling me the book is thrown aside when it comes to your own daughter? I'm telling you I want what's best for your career. You know there happens to be an opening in Metro? I will get to Metro when and if my jacket warrants it. You could go now. You'd be in a patrol car, working investigations with a partner. This is really unfair. If this were Peter, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. Your brother wouldn't have spent his years on patrol peddling down the boardwalk in shorts. I'll say it again. A squad car is 4,000 pounds of added protection. Oh, please, you don't think this could have happened if I was in a squad car? Why does everything have to be an argument when we talk business? Because you make it one. Hi. I'm T.C. Calloway. You must be Captain McNamara. How do you do? Just fine, sir. Thank you. Lieutenant Palermo called, said we should swing by the firehouse before the afternoon shift. Nice meeting you, sir. I'll call you later, Dad. The blonde gun, the blades, and the yellow shirt. Well, let's go. Oh. Oh. Is there a problem, officer? I hope not. What's your name? Richard Batten. Do you have any ID on you, Mr. Batten? It's just my driver's license. I'm not carrying a wallet. Pull the license out, sir. You're suspected of pickpocketing. I'm gonna have Officer Calloway here pat you down and check your pockets. Is there anything you wanna tell us? <laughs> like what? Look, if you're carrying a syringe and I get stuck, you and me got problems, pal. Listen, I'm not a pickpocket. Go ahead, frisk away. I got six bucks in my right pocket, that's it. Keep them up. He's clean. No wallet. Okay. Sorry. You're free to go. <laughs> Can't say it's been a pleasure. Let's go get a report from the victim. We'll file this guy's name in the computer. All right, everyone watch closely. TC, you're the pickpocket's target. Polly over here is on the boardwalk watching. You pull out some money to buy something, he checks out the size of your bank. He's a spotter. Exactly. He signals me, scratches his nose, whatever. I'm the dip, I'm the talent. You now walk towards me. I bump into you accidentally, dip into your pocket, and keep walking. Now, that's slow motion compared to them. They're so quick, you can hardly tell us happened. Elvis, walk by me. I immediately hand off the goods seconds after I've made the score. A professional dip never holds the goods more than a few seconds because he's the one who's had contact with the victim, and he's vulnerable. In case the victim chases him down or a cop grabs him, he's clean. How do you know all this? Because I'm from New York. Excuse me. I'm looking for Elvis Krajewski. I'm told he's working here. 
Yeah, he's right. Uh... Yeah, yeah, Elvis? I don't know. Uh... You tell your father about the lawsuit? He'll find out soon enough. You know, when they released Rashid from the hospital, he made a threat. Let me guess, he's gonna kill me, my family, my dog, and my goldfish. He said he was gonna write a rap song about you after you were dead. Great, he can use the money he gets from the lawsuit to put it on the air. Let's get out of here. We got a mission on a second bill, only like an AK. Spray on a pole, where they die, you know you made the grave. Get it together, bro, or leave it alone. Give up the chip chat, bury the fat cat. Six feet of brown, proud to make you my home. Hey, Rasheed! Heard you've been looking for me. Just want to let you know I'm here for you, baby. You think he's trying to tell us he's number one? <laughs> I can't believe you agree to let that punk take you to dinner. I'm buying. I wouldn't accept a gift from someone we're trying to protect. Look, I know you've only lived it for a year or so, but you got to understand a man's an actor. He can convince you of anything. That's what he gets paid to do. I get that. Thank you very much. Huh. Can't keep firing D players like this. We have a schedule to keep. Gary, I could throw a rock and hit three guys on the speech to play that part. Okay, fine. We'll recast and shoot it tomorrow. We'll shoot it now. You, Del Toro. You ever done any acting before? No. Do me a favor. Say this line. This line right here. Forget it. Say the words. Freeze, Turkey. Who writes this stuff? Look, you say the lines. I hold back the mob that's dying to see you. He's got attitude. It's perfect. I'm on duty. He's unavailable for the part. I love it. Come on, you're off in 10 minutes. No. Pass. Nada. I'm not interested in doing any movie, much less your movie. It pays 524 bucks for the day. Freeze, turkey! <laughs> Cut! Print it! It's a wrap, everybody. Good night. Good job. Good stuff. <laughs> yeah. Well, I can't remember when I've been so impressed. Yeah? You better keep Oscar night open, babe. See, let me talk to you for a second, man. When she said I said something done, I what the hell already done? I said she would never laugh on the streets without the cash. Without the cash, she would be lost. What you gonna do, shoot me again? Get down on the ground now. All right. Little cop lady. Do whatever you say. Shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him! something you want to talk about you're the only one in your family that's a police officer right TC yeah by a long shot well in in my family it's very important that your first shoot be a clean one come on Corey. no I'm serious it goes back three generations the tradition says a clean first shoot will give you the confidence you need to operate a bad first shoot and you're useless on the street you'll always hesitate you'll always second-guess yourself that's what they believe. What do you believe? I don't know. All I know is that ever since this thing went down, my nerves have been shot to hell. You know, what if I do hesitate, TC? Then that puts whoever is with me in danger as well. You know, this whole first shoot thing, it's a blue myth. Not in my family. All I've ever heard about growing up was about Tal Morgan, my uncle's first shoot, and uh, the Gardner incident, which was my father's first shoot. Even my grandpa Max shoot out at Felipe's before he joined the hat squad in the 40s. You cannot let them put this kind of pressure on you. I don't have to. I'm putting it on myself. Listen, 
We're gonna pick up Rashid's friend Eddie, okay? We'll put the squeeze on him about the gun. Everything will be fine. I'm not so sure, TC. You know, I've been playing this incident over and over in my mind, and God, I'm even dreaming about it at night. And in the end, I'm not sure Rashid had a gun. No, 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 no. You were dead bang positive the day of the shoot. Maybe that's what I wanted to believe. Tell me about it. Yes, well, uh, <clears throat> I uh, chose to invoke uh, the 19th Amendment, sir. No one's right to vote. I cannot share with you what this is I already know at, at this point in time, Lieutenant, sir. These people seem pretty intent on finding you. Yes, I know. And <clears throat> I can only hope that they abandon their quest and they return to from whence they came. You know, we have an old saying in this country, you can run, but you can't hide. Uh, but America is a very big country. And there are very many bike shops from which one can work. And uh, there are many places to hide amongst the Purple Mountains' majesty from sea to shining sea. Am I free to go? Yeah, free to go. Thank you. I contacted Interpol. Guess what? They've never even heard of Elvis. I mean, of course they've heard of Elvis, just not our Elvis. Same with customs, NCIC, computers, immigration, nothing. I checked downtown personnel file. His paperwork was letter perfect. I don't get it. Maybe he's a spy. <laughs> yeah, right. Sent here by an eastern bloc country to keep an eye on Venice Beach. Listen, keep an eye out for those characters and talk to me if you get a chance. He might open up to you. I'll try, but I doubt it'll do any good. Whoever they are, they've spooked him. Find anybody? Since I'm a real cop, I, I told him, "Hey, look, I've never done this before. I never acted." So he helps cover Hoover. Told me I was. That was a pretty clever ploy giving Victor that part. I think it was manipulative. Your word. Ah, you give me too much credit. You are charming. Does that come along with your actor's bag of tricks? Acting comes from the inside. Getting in touch with your feelings. Letting the camera see through to your soul. That's what allows us to make a connection with the audience. You are good. And you are very cynical. And I'm surprised you're wasting your time with this bike patrol unit. What's the deal there anyway? It's just temporary. Stepping stone in the department. Well, looky here. If it ain't that lover boy movie star. Hey, Tommy, check this out. Look, I'd love to chat, pal, but I'm a little busy here. You know something? You look a lot bigger than movies. Hey, you know, tell me something. Are you a tough guy? Hey, look, mister. That's OK. I get this all the time. Look, pal, you're the tough guy here. I'm just a guy shooting pool. You're trying to brush me off. He thinks he is too good for me. Well, maybe I'm not the kind of quality guy that you meet in rehab. Sir, I'm a police officer, and you're way out of line. I'm going to have to ask you to back off. Whoa. Who is this? Your bodyguard? <laughs> Big, tough movie star needs a lady cop in shorts to protect him. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go, huh? You want to go, man? Want to go? Let's go, man. Come on. Let's do it. Hey! 
Yeah, well, whatever you do, you can't tell anybody about these doubts of yours, okay? Well, it's too late. Besides, they exist. There's no use in denying it. Mm, well, in my day, it wouldn't have been any problem at all. We'd just throw a gun down alongside him. <laughs> Things have changed a little since the hats, Grandpa. Yeah, and it's a damn shame, too. You know, a gangster wanted to come to Los Angeles, we'd hit him off at the airport. We'd let him know or know in certain terms he wasn't welcome. He'd get the picture. And you'd drag guys down to that apartment <clears throat> building in Torrance and deal out your own personal brand of justice. I told you about that a hundred times, I guess. My favorite bedtime stories. I guess that says a lot about the way I was raised. You were raised just fine after your mother died. Now, that's why I came down to see you today. Listen, I'm going to ask you to cut your father a bit of slack, OK? Oh, Grandpa, he doesn't cut me a bit. Well, it's because he doesn't want what happened to him to happen to you. What are you talking about? I'm talking about his first shoot, damn it. It didn't go down clean. Wait a minute, I thought... That's why he's so hard on you. But the gardener incident... It was a mess. I'll tell you something else. This whole tradition about first shoots, that is a lot of Irish macho hero crap. You're not just saying that? It's the whole truth of something, God. You're great, Grandpa. Yeah, I know. Well, we have the report you filed. What can we do for you, Mr... Tataglia. Tataglia. I could find the man who took my wallet. The money means nothing to me. The identification can be replaced. But there's a very special picture inside of my wife and myself taken at Coney Island many years ago. Now, we know there's a ring of pros working the boardwalk. Maybe we'll get lucky and catch him in the act. Look for the spotter. He'll be your best bet. The spotter? Really? I would have thought the handoff man. He may use more than one. Watch for the spot of watching people. If you find this man and retrieve my picture, I promise I will return the favor. I appreciate that, but it's really not necessary. I know you're an honorable police officer, Lieutenant Palermo. I did some checking. I expected that would be your answer. Mr. Tatalia, may I ask? I'm a retiree. I moved here from Miami to get away from relatives. This situation is better handled by your people before my disappointment and anger rise to such a level for which I would have to take action. We'll do our best. Please. One day, I will return the favor. nothing to say to you. What is best isn't the best. Things have changed since you went away. I would have to hear that from her. Please. Please, Elvis. We need your help. Please. Your bail's been posted. You're free to go. Get out of here. Hey, man. I'm real sorry about the crack about rehab. That's all right, Travis. You guys did a hell of a job back there. Gary will cut you a check. Those guys work for you? Stuntmen. We do this all the time. Any publicity is good publicity. Hey, come on, it's been a long night. Get me out of here, man. Oh, you're free to go, babe. Your bail's been posted, too. Great. Gary's here. Where is he? What took him so long? Hey, Gary! Actually, Gary's not here. 
Your fiance posted bail. Uh, I can explain this. Don't bother. Vivica and I had a nice long chat. One time off already. You tell us about Rashid's piece. We talk to the judge. Tell him what a great guy you are. Yeah? And what's Rashid gonna say about me other than you's a dead man? He's gonna say it's a shame. Eddie's in prison. While I'm rapping on FM radio. Making all kinds of big time record deals. Man, my bus wasn't nothing but a rouse, man. Judge won't see it that way. He's gonna see a guy with two gun possessions inside of a week. Well, I ain't seeing nothing. Yeah, well, you're gonna fry, pal, and we're gonna see to it. You think this is an act? I've been up to here with Bellwood Avenue and you guys selling poison to kids in dime bags. Okay? No, Tony. no more deals. Let them rot in hell. The thing was a pearl handle. We need details. It was a 38 with a cool looking handle. He was bragging that he ripped it from some guy's house off of Bellwood Avenue that he broke into. How long ago was that? A couple of weeks. That's better. Now tell us what he did with the thing. Storm drain. He threw it down a storm drain. No, I threw it down there for him. Yeah, you say he didn't want to violate his parole. Said it'd mess with his recording career. They checked him twice. It's probably long gone by now. Don't say another word. Quite a client list you're developing, Mr. Malone. You must spend all your free time handing out cards on Bellwood Avenue. Whatever he told you is hearsay. Probably a violation of his rights. <laughs> well, sorry, Counselor. He waived his rights 20 minutes ago. You know, if I were you, Counselor, I wouldn't spend my cut of that settlement just yet. Lieutenant, do you need me on the booking for this thing? You have a more pressing engagement? No. Well, I'm due back on the Magruder set. I thought you hated that guy. Well, you know, he's just under a lot of pressure. The more I get to know him, the more I come to realize he's just misunderstood. Get out of here. Thanks. We got a match. A pearl handled Smith & Wesson 38 was reported stolen 12 days ago from an address off of Bellwood Avenue. Please tell me it was registered. Owner was a gun freak. We have a serial number right here. Problem is, all the storm drains flow into Santa Monica Bay, which means the thing could be halfway to Honolulu by now. Yeah. Heal the Bay. Excuse me? Not everything makes it to the ocean anymore. TC, get me Heal the Bay on the line. I want to know what pollution screens have been installed west of Bellwood Avenue. Corey, call City Engineering. Tell them to pull all the storm drain charts between the shooting site and the ocean. Then call the county on our form and tell them we need three warm bodies down at the Pico Wash, okay? Got it. What do we got? I think we got something. Boss said not to touch it until you got here. Right over there, stuck in the corner. You see it?
she was sipping wine, looking oh so fine, and he knew what he could do if she was so inclined. <laughs> Man, how's business, Rashid? <laughs> don't y'all get tired of this? I mean, don't you get it? Now, this is my house, baby, and we ain't going nowhere. Oh, you're going somewhere, baby. Oh, yeah, you got that right. Yeah, I'm going right to the top. Before you go, let me ask you a question. You recognize this? No, I ain't never seen that before. Oh, yeah? And how do you suppose your prince got on the thing? You know the drill. Hey, you leaving? Oh, yeah, yeah. Mexico, Vancouver, New York for the street stuff. Look, talk to the hand. I don't really have time to yeah, I just wonder how my scene looked. Look great. Shame we can't use it. What do you mean you can't use it? Look, the whole beach thing, it's out, okay? Kapui. We've been shooting five days. We're four days behind schedule, but hey, that's features. You're on the cutting room floor, babe. So cute. Stark. Plummer doesn't read this stuff, does he? Just the copy I left on his desk. No. Oh, thank you very much. Soap operas? I try not to get hooked. You're gonna love this one. Okay. The blonde guy. He's a Bulgarian national champion. Those other guys are his teammates. Elvis used to be their mechanic, but he left after a dispute over Tatiana. Let me guess. She left Elvis for the racer. Uh-uh. No, the other way around. She left Zygmunt for Elvis. Get out of here. Yeah. A wild affair, and then she went back to her husband. Apparently, Elvis was something of a legend in the old country. What are they doing here? Well, they're pursuiters. They race the 4,000 meters in the velodrome, but they're getting killed in the Olympic trials, and they want the mechanic back. Elvis isn't leaving us, is he? The pain is too great. He'll tune their bikes, but then he's going to send them on their way. The whole thing is just kind of like an episode of As the Wheel Turns. Convicted armed robber. As a juvenile. Prosecutor, special circumstances. Spent five years in prison. And then returned to the neighborhood, rehabilitated by the state of California. He was selling cocaine on Bellwood Avenue. He was performing for friends. But he became a victim of, of excessive force by an officer with three years' experience. Someone in your department. 
Corey McNamara is a model officer with a spotless record. Not anymore. I suggest you pull her from the street pending an investigation. And I'm suggesting you pull your ass out of here before I throw it out that window. Tony, Tony, do I note an atmosphere of violence? It seems to pervade the entire police department. Get out of my face. Oh, I think you and I are going to see a whole lot more of each other. You should have said that to me. Sorry. Couldn't resist. Well, let's just hope for your officer's sake we turn up that gun. Hi, Daddy. Hey. I know what you're going to say, so let's just get this over with, okay? Is that any way to greet a concerned father who just wants to buy his daughter lunch? The turkey burgers are good here. Yeah. I saw the preliminary report. Here we go. It's not very encouraging. No shots fired by the suspect, no weapon located. Now you realize Jim Thompson sits on the shooting review board. Don't even think about it. You know how important it is that your first shoot be absolutely clean. If it's a clean shoot, it will hold up. Just let me have a word with him off the record. I can't believe you're even considering this. All I've ever heard from you growing up is the importance of doing things by the book. And now you're telling me the book is thrown aside when it comes to your own daughter? I'm telling you I want what's best for your career. You know there happens to be an opening in Metro? I will get to Metro when and if my jacket warrants it. You could go now. You'd be in a patrol car, working investigations with a partner. This is really unfair. If this were Peter, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. Your brother wouldn't have spent his years on patrol peddling down the boardwalk in shorts. I'll say it again. A squad car is 4,000 pounds of added protection. Oh, please, you don't think this could have happened if I was in a squad car? Why does everything have to be an argument when we talk business? Because you make it one. Hi. I'm T.C. Calloway. You must be Captain McNamara. How do you do? Just fine, sir, thank you. Lieutenant Palermo called, said we should swing by the firehouse before the afternoon shift. Nice meeting you, sir. I'll call you later, Dad. The blonde guy on the blades and the yellow shirt. Well, let's go.
differences? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine, Dad. You sure? Yeah, yeah, I'm just a little shaken, but I'll be all right, I promise. Yeah, Brooks Beep told me what happened. I just want to hear it from you. You were all right. Yeah, I appreciate you calling, Dad. What about the suspect? They took him to the hospital. You gonna make it? Yeah, yeah, I, I think he'll be fine. Hey, uh, they found the gun, didn't they, Corey? No. Not yet. I better pick up some film at just about the end of the roll. Oh, oh hey, sorry. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, uh, roll of 36, the 100 page. My wallet. All right, I need a couple volunteers for Brat Patrol duty. Brat Patrol duty? Yeah, it means we have a film company working on the beach. They bring a lot of money into the community, so we're encouraged by City Hall to provide liaison assistance. It's babysitting the star. Who is it this time? Scott Magruder. He's the worst. I can't stand his movies. I'd be willing to volunteer. Oh, really? What, are you a Scott Magruder fan? No, I've just never seen a movie be made before. Yeah, right. Talk to it, Kelly. You think he's a screen star like the rest of female America? I've seen a couple of his films, that's all. Fine. He's all yours. What? Both of yours. And try and keep him out of jail. Are you born obnoxious or something you developed over the years? Hey, Scott Magruder's a full-fledged, high-signing poser. Belwood Avenue Crips have been running the majority of their drug dealings between these two streets here and here. Yeah, I see them when I go home at night. It's like a supermarket down there. There's two drug dealers on every corner. The dealers work the curbs, the buyers circle around back, take delivery from another person. I thought the black and whites have been running sweeps twice a week. They're ineffective. The dealers scatter, cut through backyards, jump fences. There's a lot of light industry in that area, so the cars can't follow. So you're saying we use the black and whites to chase them into the equipment yards? That's the plan. We'll use these finger cams, man, under the bikes or the helmets for evidence gathering. I love it. The dealers will run and we'll own them, baby. Yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, let's just remember what we're dealing with out there. These are hardcore gangbangers taking in a lot of cash. They've never seen a crash unit on bikes before, so we don't know how they're going to react. Captain Brooks is right. Everyone wears a vest. I want you to watch yourselves, watch your partners, and watch the black and whites. All right? Let's go get them. Ah, yeah, I'm the king with the ring, feeling fall the spring. Now, hold an encore, Rashid. Can't hear my customers placing their orders, man. And I got a home with no loan, so don't take that tone. I make the bread with my head, Fred. Ah, <laughs> cause I'm wheeling and peeling, kid. Damn, here we go again. Anyway, you can't see said I said something dumb. I left the head already gone. I said she would never laugh on the streets without the cash. Without the cash, you would be lost. Come on, come on, this way, come on. Down the alley. I'm with you.
Oh, God. This is two Becker seven. I need an ambulance. Stay put. Somebody get me an ambulance. He tore up a hotel room in New York City, and he got in a fist fight in Central Park with his caterer. That was his fiance's fault, Vivica something. She said actors on that TV show. Oh, I thought you weren't a fan. It was in the National Inquisitor, which is on the shelf at the checkout counter, okay? He just happened to be on the cover. Oh, getting busted. And there was a long line at the checkout, so you decided to read the article. Get a life, Del Toro. Come on. Maybe it'll make you a movie star. Then you can be on the cover of the Inquisitor. I saw a gun, Lieutenant. I have no doubt that you did. But the search team spent most of the night going over the area, and all they could come up with is a knife. There's nothing on the surveillance video that backs up your claim. It wasn't a knife. It was a gun. I know what you think you saw. Look, look, I'll, I'll go there myself. I want to check it out in the light anyway. Fine. Take TC with you. I just want you to know that this whole matter may have to be reviewed. A shooting review board hearing? Oh, come on. What are you getting so defensive for? I'm not. Corey, no one's going to let you hang out to dry on this. Well, what about the suspect? Rashid Ross, 25. Two stretches of fulsome assault and armed robbery. Armed robbery, huh? Any chance this guy used to own a gun? Excuse me. We are seeking Elvis Krzyzewski. I gotta go. And who shall I say is seeking? Just tell him we are friends from old country. Here, catching race in Santa Monica. Oh, I'll tell you what. I don't think he's here. Please, it's most important that we speak to him. We understand he services bicycles here, and and that's his shop, maybe. Elvis, Elvis, Jesse. Whoa, whoa, Elvis. guys! Hey, guys, guys! Hold Elvis. on, second. guys! Excuse me. Elvis. Excuse me, guys. Like I said, he's not here. But I'll be happy to give him a message for you if you like. A message. Listen to me, that message from one place. What did I tell you? Where are you? Come on. Message. just like that. I'm Officer Kelly, this is Officer Del Toro, and we've been assigned as liaison officers while you're filming here on the beach. You're a cop? Yes. Real cop with a uh, gun, real bolts and everything? <laughs> right here. You know, I'm always concerned when I'm on location out in public. Maybe we should discuss some sort of security arrangements. Come on in, come inside. Uh, uh, you know what, it's very small in here. I'd really appreciate it if you could Guard the perimeter while I talk to your partner, Officer Del Taco. Hey, it's Del Toro. Whatever. Actually, we both need to check out the set, make sure all crowd control measures are in place. Okay. All right. I uh, I see my reputation has preceded me. You two, run along. I've got to get ready for a scene. Catch up with you later, baby. Bye-bye. I don't want to hear I told you so. I'm saying it worked. Palermo says this guy, Rashid, is a two-time loser. That's got to work in your favor. My favor? That's probably why this guy's willing to take a shot at me. What are you talking about? Well, I'm talking about the three strikes law. This guy goes down for a third time. He goes away for life. I see your point. You no, know, 
that a lot doesn't help us a bit if a guy's willing to shoot at a cop rather than take a third fall. I, I saw him disappear around this side of the tractor. And that's where he drew his gun on me. But he was over here when the shooting went down. No, no, no. He drew on me here, and, and then he fell back this way. Damn it, what did he do with that thing? We'll check the woods, the storm drains. We'll turn this place upside down. We've already done that twice. We will find the gun, Corey. Damn it! Relax, all right? The shooting review board almost always sides with the officer in a gang-related shooting. It means a little bit more to me than that. Meaning? Meaning it's personal. The bad guy is running underneath the pier this way. You come across the pier, climb to the top, spot him, and then act as if you're going to jump. Then Max will come in here and take a fall for you. Don't bother. I'll do it myself. The stunt? Yes, Gary, the stunt. We're set up for it. Let's just shoot it. You sure you want to do that? Do you have a hearing problem? I'm doing the stunt myself. Babe, I don't think the studio. Look, is the studio here? Maybe the VP of production would like to do the stunt. Is he here? Okay. I swear, you, you want to cough at a scene? They think you need a stunt. I'm sure they just don't want you to get hurt, that's all. Yeah, that'd be a big shame. Well, we don't risk life and limb like real officers on the street, but there are certain chances I'm willing to take to make the whole thing seem a little more real. Like the real comic book this movie's based on. No. Like the real five million they're paying me to play Amphibaman. That's wonderful. We're ready to shoot. You know, he's only really doing this stunt to impress you, right? Get out of here. Give me time! We're rolling! Rolling, quiet, please. I can't remember when I've been so impressed. How about you? You want to sue this department for excessive force? And you're demanding that we suspend Officer McNamara? Lawsuit is for 10 million. I just got back from the city attorney's office. That's absurd. You're just looking for a fat settlement from the city. Now, my client, Rashid Ross, very talented rap musician. 